it's been an incredible couple of days. I, I'm beyond blessed. Uh, like, it is... The last couple of days have just blown my mind. And, and I wanted to share my appreciation and, and my story. Uh, yesterday uh, was my birthday. And at church, it was, it was awesome. Uh, you know, just an incredible time uh, worshiping with uh, the church family. And people were saying happy birthday. And, and I'm like, wow, all these people have, have checked their Facebook already. They've been notified it's my birthday. Um, little did I know that Chris, Ireley, and Crecia were planning um, <laughs> this project for the last couple months. Uh, but then I was surprised that youth group, uh, they cut worship short. Uh, they have this big giant box. They sing happy birthday. And if you know me, I don't like being the center of attention. So I'm trying to blow it off. Uh, I figure this is like some sort of gag gift or something like that. Packer memorabilia. I don't know. Um, but then <laughs> the, there's this big giant card. Uh, oh, it's right here. Big giant card. It says happy birthday, right? And I open it up. And I see all these names on this card. And, and they're names from, from people at KBC. But then they're also names from people that uh, have meant a lot to me in my life, that have, have made an impact in my life. Um, you know, people from Libertyville, people from home, uh, family, friends. Uh, so at that point, I knew it wasn't really a gag gift. <laughs> um, and so... I open the gift and I, and you know, like right now, I get choked up at a at a drop of a hat. I, you, if you've seen me preach, if you've seen me teach, if you've seen me baptize students, you know that like, or even just give announcements, I get choked up, and and, and so you know what's going on in my in my head. Like, it's not necessarily the, the words that are coming out of my mouth that are choking me up. Um, it, it's it's. It's the thoughts behind that are that are going on of, of whether it's my ADD or or the spirit kind of um, giving me glimpses of of how the kingdom is moving forward or or how um, my life has been impacted or or how my kids have been shown loves uh, and support um, and so those are the thoughts in my head going on that they get me all choked up and, and people were watching the Facebook live. Because uh, I know my sister was cheering and, and you know, hoping that, like, I'd break down and, and, and just cry like a baby, I guess. But uh, to, to say that I was speechless, it doesn't even put it <laughs> into words. Like, I was thoughtless. I was, there was nothing going on in my head because my mind was completely blown. And so I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And, and... Um, some of you are like, well, get to the story, get what was in the box. But before I get there, I want to share another way that people have been generous. Um, a couple weeks ago, not knowing that Chris and Creasy were planning this for two months, I, I, I put this, this fundraiser together for Time Ministries. And, and um, Time Ministries has meant so much in my life. And I, we brought a team down last summer. And I love what Time Ministry does. And they're building chapels in the Dominican Republic. Um, and there's churches and there's, um, you know, VBSs going on because of, of time ministries. And, and they've been struggling because their, their generator is, 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 is on its last leg. Um, and so they want or need a new generator for, for um, the ministry to continue, for more chapels to be built. And so I put this Facebook group, uh, fundraiser together to say, hey, for my birthday this year, uh, donate to Time Ministries. And people have. We've raised $460 to Time Ministries. And, and that's going to go to them and go to the, um, the generator. And we're hoping that uh, ministry can continue, that it can even expand past the borders of Dominican Republic. And so <laughs> that is uh, was going on in my head. And then this happens, and, and I realize how, how people have been incredibly generous to Time Ministries, but then also to me when I get to what is in the box. So we get, I open the box, and I see that it's a camera. It's not just any camera. It's a Canon 80D. It's one of the cameras that I've been wanting for a while. And 
I've been bit by the photography bug back when my parents gave me um, gave me and Creasy a, a, a Nikon for Christmas and gave you know my brother and my sister as well um, for Christmas and and we were all blown away at that mo that Christmas morning and uh, um, I started taking pictures of Ragnar started taking pictures of mountains when we had Hadassah Moses Lydia we would take pictures and I just loved taking pictures and you know when I moved to Kenosha um, I didn't have my friend Ryan Wright to take pictures with to go on trips in negative 40 degree weather uh, <laughs> you know before dawn um, I didn't have that anymore I didn't have the mountains I didn't have you know the the sand dunes to take pictures of you know we have Lake Michigan and yeah we could take some cool pictures but there's something missing and part of it was I was limited by the equipment that I had yeah I could you know and we still did take pictures of our kids of Ragnar and stuff like that um, but it just didn't have the same feel for me and then Chris gets bit by the photography bug and um, we, we hire Bill and he is a uh, loves photography and is phenomenally good at photography and has lenses like crazy but they all have cannons and Chris would give me a hard time hey you need to get a cannon so we can share lenses and I'm like I don't have that kind of money and so uh, he's been uh, working this and he's Asked Crecia, hey, would this be a good idea? And for the last two months, he's uh, they've contacted friends and mentors of mine and, and people in ministry and, and families, and, and they've responded in, in huge ways, and I'm just incredibly humbled. You've given me a glimpse of that gift that God has given us. The free gift of his son dying on the cross. And, and, and the free gift of a right relationship, a reconciled relationship with him. <laughs> None of us deserve it. I do not deserve this camera by any means. <laughs> but you have, have blessed me beyond all belief. And, and I want to thank you for that. And, and I want to use this to point people to the, that free gift of, of of a right relationship with Christ, the gospel. Because it is not a gift that, that we deserve and we just receive it, we, we humbly receive it, and, and our life changes because of that gift, and for sure my life is going to change um, because of this material thing of, of a camera, but more so because of the names and people behind it. You have blessed me incredibly and I want to thank you for that and I want to let you know that because of this you know hopefully this will be a gift a tool for for the ministry as well uh, for the family um, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart <laughs> thank you